what we believe to be true about ourselves. No one can question. Look past our age, look past where we come from, look past what the media says and look at us. What do you see? I have three sisters, two of them are, we've got different dads and one of them, we've got different mums. I live with just my dad. I, I don't live with my mum because she passed away when I was 10. And just because I'm not the 2.4, 2.4 perfect, perfect family. family doesn't mean I've got a bad family. I've got, a, I've got an amazing family and I'm proud of it. My parents are Nigerian, but I'm born here. I was born in uh, East London, but now I live in uh, South London in Thamesmead. But that's still quite a gang, a local gang area. And pe when people hear that I live there, they kind of think, oh no, he's going to rob my phone or something. But I'm not like that. And we've got fake cigarettes and to fake alcohol to see what people think of us um, and see if people are intimidated by us. Um, do you think they look intimidating, those two boys there? They do actually. When I, <laughs> when I pass through them, I'm like, oh my god, it's them of the day smoking and drinking. If you seen them out on the street, would you? Would you be intimidated by them or like think they were up to no good? Take your notice of them like that, no. If you were just walking along the street, what would you think of those two boys over there? I'd be a bit wary, but I wouldn't think they're troublemakers. Oh, okay. But I would be on guard. Because on my own, I would probably cross the road and walk, yeah, walk away or walk around. Most people thought that we looked intimidating. Sometimes young people want to be intimidating on purpose. Other times, hanging out in groups or wearing hoodies is just a part of youth identity. We spoke to teachers, police officers, bus drivers and members of the public about what they honestly think about young people. I think a lot of times the youth are misrepresented. Most people call it youth are extremely decent, lovely people. Uh, like they've always been, you've always got uh, the youth that will cause issues, but the majority of young people are good, decent people. It's just that they get labelled. Um, if you were walking along the street, would you be intimidated by like a group of boys that are just like walking along like with their heads up, would you think they were troublemakers? Probably the first impression. I know that's the wrong impression. The youth of today are also, on the other hand, uh, in some ways, giving quite a lot, which they don't make full advantage of. Unfortunately, the minority quite often make it bad for the majority. Would you feel more intimidated by a group of black boys or a group of white boys? You can be honest, don't worry. Yeah. Black boys, yeah. It's important to have a strong identity, sense of self, and always stand up for what you believe in. Do we always get it right? No, but neither do you. All, all the youth now are seen as bad, especially because of the rate and what happens, so now it's going to make youth look even worse than they normally are. And most adults are, let's be honest, a bit jealous as well, because in the modern day, children do have more rights, they do have more chances as well. I think the media portrays the parents as being bad because the parents, they, they blame the parents for not taking care of the kids. Oh, wow. And if you dig back into it, they don't let the parents discipline the kids. I think they quite enjoy the fact that people feel intimidated by it. It sort of makes them feel like proud of them. I'm a black student, but to leave school. <laughs> I'm inspired by Martin Luther King. Um, I'm positive about myself because I've achieved a lot of things throughout my life at the moment. I'm good at maths because it gives me more extra work to help me learn more. I'm positive about myself because I did a lot of things like I'm a main singer in the band and stuff. <laughs> um, I'm an A-star student, all subjects. 
Especially drama. That I'm good at math. Anything else? No. I want to be an actress in America. Um, I want to get serious in my grade. And I love school. is to respect people and I'll become more confident. So it's a good way to go. And you? Um, on this course, I have learned <laughs> that I've learned to respect other people's opinions and their religions. What I have learned on this course. <laughs> uh, what I've learned in this course is um, to look into situations with more detail. On this course, I have learned what respect is and how to give it. And that's all I've got to say about this, Matt. <laughs>